Tell me how long will it be? Yeah, we decided we will focus on basically black gospel quartet music and which basically came out of jazz, the blues, and um, you know, the old art forms uh, of music years ago. And it's very, very popular, especially, you know, in the black community, the black churches, um, because most of the song, most of the messages that are in the songs were used for the purposes of um, encouragement, a means of just, uh, you know, being together and coming together. It gave them a, an alternative to the secular music. We found out that that ended up being very um, positive and very necessary. But a lot of the struggles was as a result of, you know, coming out of slavery, you know, and, and being able to have a face. How many of y'all ever feel like that sometimes? My child was blessed. I was reared by my grandparents. They had 17 kids, plus me, so it was 18 of us. We were probably, and just being honest and realistic, we were probably too poor to pay attention. That's just how poor we were. But the love that we had as a group, it cannot even be expressed. Loving one another was not an option. And we were brought up and taught that loving Jesus Christ was not an option. You know, my granddad, he uh, and his brothers, they had started a group called the Royal Lights. He and my grandma started having uh, children in a way, as a way to kind of keep him out of trouble. You know, he started a group, and uh, he actually named the group after his old group, was the, which was the Royal Lights Quartet. And since I was around, I was about four years old at the time, my grandma pushed me by the head and shoved me on in there, so you get on up there too. And uh, I never will forget, bought me a little, uh, little plastic guitar. <laughs> I couldn't play nothing, but I was in front there acting like I could. <laughs> But let me just tell y'all what it's all about. You know what? It's by the grace of God that I'm still Number one, you have the lead. That's the guy who really is out front and he leads. He's the one with the message. And then a baritone, you have a tenor, and you have what we call a fifth lead. You know, it's not one part being, you know, loud here and another part, but the blend of the four together must be strong to support the lead. We're, we're not an entertainment group. We are ministry, and that we take that very seriously. Well, the message is always centered around Jesus Christ. You know, God offers a free gift of salvation through the death of Christ on the cross. All of it has to be centered on that because that is the gospel. It's been a great blessing to me to have Ryan, you know, a part of what we're doing. And he started, uh, you know, kind of working with us back in 2012. But I also see that represent also to me another 60, 70 years of what my granddad started back in 1920. Whether you believe in Christ or not, you need to consider it. Because I believe that if you really, really give it a chance and consider it, it will work for you. Because I assure you one thing, that if you try Christ and you find out he doesn't work for you, you don't have to worry because Satan will take you back. He'll take you back. He might even give you a promotion when you come back. Ah!